This is Investment Tanking, your guide to premium tanks. Today is the FCM Pack 40 Tier 3 French Tank Destroyer. It is in fact one of the fastest tanks in the game, where it will go at 80 km an hour across any terrain. Nah, just messing with you, it's stuck at 16 km an hour. It is one of the very slowest tanks in the game, and it is excruciating to play if you're not very patient. As you can see, we have two M3 Stuarts sitting at the side doing absolutely sweet FA. Anyway, seeing as the scouts won't scout, I guess we will have to do it. We have around 400 meters view range. That's without optics or anything special. You see, when they nerfed the tank destroyer's view range, they left all the premium tanks untouched. This beauty is still just psychic when it comes to detecting tanks. The FCM also managed to avoid the camouflage nerfs by being premium, which means when you fire, you're not revealed as much as a normal tank destroyer or tank anymore. Which helps as well when you're having to go ahead of the rest of your team at 16 kilometers an hour, followed by bots. The gun has around 3.3 seconds reload, the gun mine's about 3.6, and it has 98mm of AP penetration. That is more than enough for anything you'll fight at tier 5. Sadly, this doesn't get preferential matchmaking, so you will see tier 5s every now and then. I'll be honest, the gun arc itself is just awful, and the pivot rate is even worse. You have to take a lot of time to try and aim your shots and turn your entire hull to try and shoot the enemies. When you do hit though, you don't even have to aim for weak spots as 98 penetration shreds anything at tiers 3 and 4, and sometimes even 5. Theoretically, the Pack 40 can actually achieve 24 km an hour with its uh, almost 14 tonne weight and 6.55 horsepower per tonne ratio. You're never going to see that unless you're going downhill, being pushed by a batch at 25 to you. It's, it's just not going to happen. The key to being successful is placing yourself in a good part of the map, like I am at the moment. Around the centre, I can see both sides, so when we're flanked inevitably, I will be able to shoot. So that you can put your 98 penetration with AP and 126 with APCR to good use. They do around 110 damage each shot and you have around 0.37 dispersion at 100 meters. It's, it's alright, it's serviceable, but the penetration and the camera are most likely your view range are what set you apart from other tanks at this tier. that traverse rate. Enemy armor is damaged. Sure to miss some shots on purpose, just so Wargaming don't think the tank's too powerful and decide to nerf it. Enemy armor destroyed! Now if you're curious what kind of engine it has to give it 6.55 horsepower per tonne, it's got 91 horsepower. Useless information. Could find it useful. As for armor, you only have 40 at the front, 20 at the sides, and 40 at the rear. You're not meant to get hit in this tank, and in this game, I don't anyway. So is it a good tank? Yes. Is it worth buying? Yes. Just remember, it is getting removed from the premium store on the 5th of May, unless they decide to extend the time again. So, pick it up while you can. And as always, spend gold and keep tanking.